hello everyone now is the concluding part of the solution of what um, the application of uh, calculus we started the last time now, now we have succeeded in looking for a and b if we find it that time to be a is equals to minus 8 and b is equal to 2. now i want to find c and d so we are going to use the same approach we use in finding a and b so now it has been established that the the, the condition of for an equation of a line to have a common tangent with with a curve the first condition we say that they will intersect at a point which we establish here the second condition is that their gradient or their or derivatives must be equal so we are going to solve for c and d so we are going to recall this uh, equation that is the s square plus y square so we are going to solve it in a new sheet here so the line we have is what we have is y equals to s plus one and we have the curve the curve is what uh, s square plus y square plus c x let's check it here c s plus d y plus d y equals to minus eight so we established that uh, for there to be in uh, intersection intersecting that means that this we can substitute the value of what, of y into this and at the same time if we want to do it the other way we can make x the sort of formula and substitute the value of x into this so in whichever way is okay so it intersect at one comma two because it's a common target so we are going to have so anyway I see why anyway I see why I put s plus one. So I have s square plus s plus one square plus c s plus d bracket s plus one equals to minus eight. Now which point at one comma two that is hard when s is one y is 2 so at this point we're going to install the value of x which is 1 this one so we're going to have 1 square so 1 plus 1 square so c times 1 1 plus 1 equals to what minus 8 so you have 1 plus this 2 square that is 4 this c c times 1 is c then 2 times d, that is 2d, equals to minus 8. Mm, we have established it. So you have c plus 2d. This 1 plus 4 is 5. So you have minus 8, minus 5. So c plus 2d equals to minus 13. 13. So you have equation what? Equation. At that time, it's equation 2. So now it's going to be equation three. So, um, mm, mm, mm. so we have established that. So another point again is that we have a gradient. The gradient of the line ML, which we have established is one because we say the coefficient of x in the equation of a line is always the gradient. So the equation is what one. The gradient is what one. Then we are going to establish the gradient of this so we are going to differentiate this implicitly because it's an implicit function so so you have your x square plus y square plus c plus dy equals to minus it i told you 
when you differentiate s you don't put the y ds so when you differentiate s square you have two x when you differentiate y square you have two y dy ds plus when you differentiate cs you, you don't put the y ds just put c because cs when you differentiate cs it will give you a constant back when you differentiate dy to give you d because of this y you put dy ds when we differentiate the constant, it gives what is zero. So we're going to collect like terms of this. You have you have two y dy ds plus d dy ds is equals to now when you take this to the other side, you give me zero minus two x minus c. So you collect like terms. We have two y plus d equal dy ds equals to minus two x minus c. So we find the differentiate the derivative dy ds will now be this one minus two x minus c over this two y plus d. Don't forget, it's at point one comma two when s is one. So we are going to slot in. So, gradient of the curve, dy ds is, is the gradient. Going to be equals to minus two bracket. See, x is what one minus c. Y is what two. That is two multiplied by two plus d. So we are going to have minus two minus c over four plus d. Remember, because of the line. The, the equation the line and the tangent uh, the line and the curve has the same tangent so they are gradient to be equal so this minus two minus two by four plus equals to one so m gradient gradient of line is called to gradient of the curve which is equals to minus two minus c over four minus d equals to what one so you can so we can cross multiply now so you have minus two minus c because so one times four that is four one times minus d that is minus d so we collect the terms together so you have minus c plus d is equal to four plus two four plus two that is six so this gave me equation what equation four so we are going to solve this equation three and four together so let's solve it together so we're going to have c plus 2d equals to minus 13 minus c plus d equals to 6 so let's solve it together so here yeah, you to eliminate eliminate the just put plus here because plus times minus is minus put plus here put plus here so you're going to have 2d plus d that is what that is what uh, that is uh, uh, okay let's, let's let's check i think mm, okay let's check our workings here minus two s Okay, sorry, we, we, we made a mistake here. This plus plus D here, yeah, sorry. I'm very sorry for that mistake. That's why you got to check. So that's why they said the other time, you have to be careful of this question because it's very complex. It's very technical. You must not make mistake. Here is plus D, sorry. So we're going to look at it again. So let's call it like terms. That will now be minus C. Here will be minus. Then four plus two. Yeah, we'll go here, minus C minus d here so i have to i have to correct that mistake so that's why when i'm working mathematics i check it back from forth so here is gone here is plus plus as minus that is minus 2d minus d that is d here is plus so you have minus 13 plus 6 that is what minus 7 so if d is what minus 7 so we can find c so using any of equation three 
and 4 let's find c so let's take minus c minus d equals to 6 since we know that d is minus 7 so we have minus c minus minus 7 equals to 6 we have minus c minus times minus that is plus 7 equals to 6 yeah, so so you have minus c equals to this is minus 7 that is minus 1 so minus c equals to minus 1 so minus cancel minus so c equals to what 1 so this is the concluding part our d is minus 7 and c is equal to what 1 so if we go back to check to check we find our a to be minus it and b is equal to two. So we can write all the whole answer here. A is eight, b is minus two, c is one, then d is minus seven. So this are our answer to the question that we that was put before us so that is the concluding part of the question another question is coming your way just subscribe to the youtube channel and let's get along and learn some deep things in mathematics physics further mass and most probably and also chemistry so i'll see you in the next video bye bye